Hi. This is the top seven things that I did wrong that I managed to capture on film growing things hydroponically in the past year. I've been growing things hydroponically for about a year now, and I've had some good successes. I've done some things really, I've had some really good crops, and you can go watch some of my other videos to see those. My heads of lettuce the size of Volkswagen Beetles, or maybe not quite that big, but I've also done some things wrong, and the problem is, well, here's the secret. No matter how much you do, how much you read, how many videos you watch um, on YouTube, because we all know that YouTube is the source of all knowledge, uh, no matter how many of these videos you watch or how many papers you read or how many instructables you instructable, um, something's going to go wrong. Or you're going to forget to do something or something is going to change from last time uh, because that's just the way it is and that's how we learn, which is, for me, one of the best parts. So, this is the top seven things that I did wrong or that went wrong that I managed to capture on film while growing things hydroponically in my basement in the past year. Enjoy. Root rot. My lettuce died because the roots rotted. Pythium root rot to be exact. And I believe it was brought on by high reservoir temperatures and a bad bacteria that causes the roots to rot. It makes the roots brown and slimy. So if you see your roots starting to look not white and clean, then you have the onset or advanced stages of pythium root rot. They're supposed to look like this. White, clean roots are signs of healthy roots. Some things you can do to prevent root rot are keep your reservoir temperatures down. There's lots of products out there that claim to alleviate it, good bacteria, other things like that. The only thing I've had success with is running hydrogen peroxide through there for about 24 hours and then replacing it with new, clean, fresh water. And that seems to have worked for me. Wrong or insufficient nutrients. The three-part fertilizer that I use, uh, General Hydroponics Flora Grow, Flora Bloom, and Flora Micro, has different levels of nutrients you can give plants. When they're seedlings, they require less fertilizer than they do when they're more mature plants. I put the appropriate amount of fertilizer in for seedlings and forgot to increase the fertilizer when the plants matured a little bit more. So instead of having nice full heads of lettuce after four or five, six weeks, I had these little stunted guys. So if your plants aren't growing, or they don't appear to be maturing as you expect them to, check your nutrient levels and make sure you've got the right amount of fertilizer in the water for the type of plant you're trying to grow. In an effort to be as efficient as possible, I planted my seeds directly in the hydrogen. It didn't work, however, as the seeds fell through the hydrogen into the water, and only two out of the six seeds that I planted sprouted. So, what I've done since is I either take the seeds and put them in a peat pellet and then transfer the peat pellet directly into the neck cups, or I'll take the seedlings out of the peat pellet and put them into the hydrogen, depending on what I'm growing. So, if you can find a shortcut, take it, but this one didn't work. I planted younger plants in the front of the container than I did in the back of the container. The problem was, the plants in the back had already had an established root system, and the plants in the front could not keep up. Since this is a cracky setup, the water does not stay full to the top like it would in a deep water culture. The plants drink the water down, and the plants in the front couldn't quite keep up with the plants in the back, so they kind of stayed stunted throughout the growing cycle. So if you're going to plant plants in a cracky system, make sure they all require the same amount of water, or are at the same stages of growth as the other plants in the system. When I plant my seeds in the peat pellets, I'll put three or four or five seeds in the single peat pellet just so something grows. And then I'll usually thin out the weaker seedlings or transplant them into something else. This time, I just stuck the whole peat pellet in the net cup, thinking that more plants would give me a greater harvest in the end. What it did instead was produce these little spindly plants that didn't really have enough room to grow. You can see the leaves are kind of elongated because they were all trying to fight for light and resources. Um, it didn't really work. I didn't get as good of harvest as I get just having one lettuce plant in there. You can compare that with this other plant, the stem on this other plant, where I had a single plant in there. See how much thicker it is than these little spindly ones. So thin out your plants, one plant per net cup, and make sure they have enough room between them to grow and get the resources they need. This was a failed experiment where I put two lettuce plants in mason jars next to a window that I thought was quite bright. It gets direct sun in the afternoon for about an hour, 
and it's pretty bright the rest of the day. But the plants, as you can see, did not agree. They're leggy and drawn out, and they have very few leaves on them. So if your plants look like this, they're not getting enough light. Make sure you put them under some bright lights. Uh, shop lights are actually bright enough as long as they're close. A little couple fluorescent T8 bulbs or T12 bulbs. They're not the most efficient you can buy or find, but they'll do the job. That's what I grow most of my other stuff under. As long as the lights are down close to the plants, they'll do fine. In this case, a window was not sufficient. This isn't really a failed experiment, but more of something dumb that I did. I was using hydrogen peroxide to clean out some of the equipment that I have, but I didn't wear gloves and I got some of it on me. So if you're going to use the super concentrated hydrogen peroxide that they have for, hydro for hydroponics, make sure you wear gloves. That's all. I'll see you in another video with another hydroponics adventure. Thanks for watching, everybody.